All life is linked in mysterious ways, and animals have relationships that benefit each other, as well as ecosystems and us, and environments around us. Hi everyone, welcome to Animal Educate. My name's Abby and today we're going to be looking at the wolf and the raven and their fascinating relationship. Mutualism is a relationship between two species where each species benefit. It's always about survival of the fittest. It's always about one animal has to die in order for another to live. So it's really nice to learn about symbiotic relationships. It's absolutely fascinating. Ravens and wolves have developed one of these relationships in Yellowstone. It's a mutually beneficial relationship, so they both benefit from having that relationship with each other. It's been observed that ravens actually favour the wolves, so they associate themselves in accordance with hunting patterns. The ravens will often eat the open carcasses that the wolves leave behind, or while the wolves are actually eating, so it becomes a feast for all. Carrion is the decaying flesh of a dead animal. It's visually unpleasant and it smells foul. It's an important food source for many different animals and it plays a massive role in the ecosystem. For example, a coyote can feed on the dead flesh of an elk that's been left behind by the wolves. The wolf's feeding behavior isn't always, they kill the animal, they eat the whole animal, Sometimes there's a little bit more to it and it does depend on the conditions, the circumstances, the pack size. Sometimes some of the animal is left behind. Even when the wolf does consume nearly the whole carcass or the whole carcass, there's still carrion left behind. As Dave Meech, the wolf biologist once said, wolf killed prey is a food bonanza for many different species besides the wolf. Carrion can be viewed as nutrient packages. It's an important food source for large carnivores, omnivores, in many different ecosystems. But equally, many invertebrates like maggots and beetles will also consume carrion. In fact, they play a very important role in the decomposing of carrion. They play an important role in recycling nitrogen and carbon in animal remains. Biologists found there were over 400 different beetle species associated with elk carcasses in Yellowstone. So the carrion, if left in the environment, will be recycled back into the ecosystem. Biologists have found that there's an intimate relationship between wolves and ravens in Yellowstone. They discovered that the ravens found the wolf killed prey just minutes after the kill was made. They also found that the average number of ravens present during a wolf kill was about 30, and up to 135 have been recorded to eat from the leftovers. Ravens are also known to circle herds in the distance. This is informing the wolves where they are, so they're known to be extra eyes and ears for wolves. So where one species is weak, the other is strong. You'll find where the ravens fly, sometimes the wolf will follow. They sometimes lead the wolves to carcasses that are too tough for them to penetrate with their beaks. But interestingly, they've also been observed to play with each other. The ravens will sometimes entice the wolves to chase them. And it's been observed that the ravens will play with the wolf cubs as well. They've been seen to dive at wolves and then quickly fly away. It's so interesting to learn about these different relationships between animals especially when you look at carrion and you think about how many different species that that carcass that dead animal is going to nourish and the environment the ecosystem wolves give life to many more animals than it takes by far and this is often overlooked i know when i used to watch nature documentaries when i was young especially the wolves and them pursuing their prey eventually making the kill it would really, really upset me. But now I know so much more about wildlife and how nature works. When you really know the ins and outs of it and you understand it fully, you can see why the wolf is such an important animal, why predatory animals like the wolf are so important and the role that they play. 
Wolf scavenger relationships are very important for both parties. They both benefit, importantly, on behaviour and ecology. There's many different relationships that different species can have with each other. Commensalism. Now this is a relationship between two organisms where one benefits and the other doesn't. So an example of this would be animals and insects that eat the wolves' leftovers. So you have mutualism, which we've already looked at, and this is the relationship that the wolf and the raven have, where they both benefit. The raven, as I said earlier, are known to be the eyes and ears for the wolf, so they make the hunt a lot easier for the wolf. The wolf makes the kill, and the ravens obviously benefit from that kill, the carrion. Parasitism is a relationship between two species where the parasite will benefit because they're feeding off of the host. The host isn't benefiting, in fact, they're usually harmed by this. Some examples are tapeworms that can live inside the wolf or perhaps ticks that attach themselves to the wolf. Well, that's it from me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode about symbiotic relationships in nature, in the animal kingdom. This is a huge topic and I've just covered a teeny tiny bit. So please do comment below if you have any examples or any questions. I am planning on making a film very soon about symbiotic relationships in the animal kingdom, so please do help me out. Until next time.